Hi, LaceTriker here with a short guide on how to install Lace Service Site Anti Cheat. Now, the first thing you have to do is copy the link from the description. I assume that you have done that already. Then, secondly, you just enter the link and you click on it. Now, you should be on the page for Lace Service Site Anti Cheat. What you have to do is look at the middle right. You'll see a downloads button. You click on the downloads button and then you click on download stable this will download the latest stable version of the anti-cheat now next up you open the archive in my case i do this by clicking on the bottom left this might differ depending on which web browser you use now next up i go to my garry's mod server in my case i already have my garry's mod server open and now we have these two things open. We have our Garris mod server open and we also have our zip archive for lace server site anti cheat open. Now, what you have to do is you have to click here once and then you drag and drop those into this folder. Make sure that if it is asking you to replace anything, that you click yes. You will notice that it's the right folder because this folder here contains stuff like. CFG or data or download or game modes. It is very very important that it's exactly this folder. Pick the wrong folder, it won't work. Now it has been installed successfully. What you do next is you start your Garry's mod server. How you start your server might differ depending on the server you use or the server host you have. As we can see in the console, Lace Service Site Anti Cheat has been loaded. Now, next up, I'm going to connect to my server. In my case, I already have Gary's Mod open, so I just connect to my server. This will take a little while. And we're connected. Now make sure you maybe try moving one step. This is important because the anti-cheat it will take like maybe 4-5 seconds before the menu loads. And now we just type exclamation mark AC in the chat and the anti-cheat menu has been opened. And that's it. You're done. It's really that simple. It's just drag and drop but yeah. In case the menu doesn't open, the chances are that you, for example, have an administration mod and you don't have the admin rights in your administration mod. It's very important that you do have the admin rights in your administration mod. So regardless whether it's ULX or SAM or Xeon admin or whatever it was called, just make sure that you have the rights in your admin mod. And yeah, that's it. And I hope you liked this little tutorial and see you next time.